Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. Have you seen the latest global phenomenon? Step outside and look up at the nighttime sky. You might see long blue lines traveling through the nighttime sky if skies are clear in your location and there's no clouds. No joke. We're going to come back and take a look at what this global phenomenon is here in just a second. But first, I have a couple of photos and videos to share with you guys. The first photo is out of Glasgow, Scotland. I was informed that it's not pronounced Glasgow. It's pronounced Glasgow. And here we go. Photos sent in by Patrick Mills of something he saw in the daytime sky. I'm going to zoom in, take a closer look at this thing that was probably around 12, maybe 15,000 feet. Looked like a black backwards seven. He found that very unusual. I couldn't agree more. It's not an airplane, not a helicopter, had no blinking lights, was just cruising through the skies of Glasgow, Scotland. This next segment is a video. These aren't blue lines. These are multicolored lines. Lines, a double decker sent in by Eddie Castillo Jr. Not sure of the location, but yet another highly photogenic double decker rainbow in a rainstorm. You can hear the the rain coming down and the double decker there off in the distance. Excellent video by Eddie Castillo. Going to take you guys now up to Oak Harbor, Washington. The Earth is struck by lightning 8.6 million times every day. This means that lightning strikes the Earth more than 3 billion times a year. And here's an example of some of these 3 billion lightning strikes that occur each year. Janice Reinhardt out of Oak Harbor, Washington captured this incredible video of lightning crawling through the sky of Oak Harbor, Washington. One of the lightning strikes right there looked like it made contact with the ground. We have some narration coming up. <gasps> Did you get it? Oh, I got it. Oh, yeah. Right there, one of those lightning strikes made contact with the ground. Very active night that night. Seeing just a few examples of the billions of lightning strikes that occur each year on planet Earth. But first, coming over here to the homepage of the website, today's feature photo was sent out by Corey Austin out of Detroit, Michigan. Looked up and saw this spectacular, what looked like a shadow of an angel with a trumpet in their hand above Detroit, Michigan. How about that? Thank you, Corey. Really appreciate that. Checking in on the GOES X-ray Flux over here at the Space Weather Prediction Center. All quiet the last 48 hours with the exception of a, a small M-class solar flare about eight hours ago. Looking at the Earth-facing side of the sun, still loaded with sunspots in active regions, and we do have a, a large sunspot coming around the northeastern limb of the sun right now as I do this video. Looking at the Schumann Resonance, I've seen a few spikes over 40 hertz the last 10 hours. It's starting to, to quiet down though as we speak. Hopping over to the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera, looking at the seismographs that, that monitor the mighty supervolcano, seeing some unusual activity at Joseph's Coat. Of course, up here at the, the Borehole 945 seismograph, that's in a, a league all of its own. Seeing a little bit of earthquake activity up here at Holmes Hill, Maple Creek, the dark blue represents magma intrusion. Other than that, nothing major going on at the Super Volcano Caldera. Looking at the wildfire situation, still very active out here in the, the western United States and our friends up in Canada, same situation. Wildfires coast to coast spanning well over 2,000 miles. Coming back to the blue lines that we're seeing in the nighttime sky. People are starting to see these blue lines in the nighttime sky. I'm going to take you guys to an article over here at spaceweather.com, dated today, August 26th of, of 2024. Article goes on to say, Starlink satellites are turning blue. And that's where the, the photo originated from. A gentleman saw these in the nighttime sky. His name is Marco from Croatia. He was out looking for Perseid meteors on August 11th, when all of a sudden, these blue lines appeared in the nighttime sky. Article goes on to say, when SpaceX first started launching Starlink satellites in 2019, astronomers saw red. And what he's implying is astronomers weren't too happy about it because all of these fancy observatories that are built in very specific places around the world, down here in South America, not far from the Atacama Desert along the west coast of South America, and this location was chose because the nighttime skies are some of the best on Earth. 
out here in Hawaii. Also, some of the best nighttime skies on Earth. They built several observatories up here, and that wasn't an easy task, taking all this material up to 13,000 feet on top of a volcano, building these observatories. They did that for a very specific reason, because they wanted the best nighttime skies they could get for their research. Well, now all of a sudden, we're dealing with these long blue lines in the nighttime sky. And when Starlink first started launching these satellites into orbit, this is what they look like, and they still do. They're still launching these things into orbit. This is a Starlink satellite train that, that probably hasn't been in orbit maybe a week because the, the satellites are still very close together. The longer they're in orbit, the farther they, they span apart. Well, apparently what's going on now, as they're spanning apart, they're starting to turn blue, and people are starting to see these long blue lines in the nighttime sky. Not every Starlink. Apparently, it's the, the Starlink satellite trains that are known as DTC satellites that are for cellular service. They call them direct-to-cell satellites, and there's quite a few of them in orbit. Here's all of the Starlinks that are currently orbiting the Earth. This is a satellite tracker, and the ones that I have highlighted on here are Starlink satellite trains. And you can click on any one of these bright dots on here, and it'll bring up the orbit of a Starlink satellite train. Here's another one. We'll click on that one right there, and you can see the orbit of that one. We'll click on another one. They're all over the place. It's almost as if they're forming a net around the Earth, because if you connected all of these dots simultaneously, it would form a net around the Earth. So it makes you wonder if there's not something much bigger going on here, other than making sure that people have cellular service all over the entire world. I come from a world way before cell phones, and, and everybody got along just fine. I can't imagine going to, to these links, putting all these satellites into orbit that may very well be interfering with these observatories in a different way here in the near future. But people are already starting to see these long blue lines in the nighttime sky, a new global phenomenon. But what's really going on here? Are they trying to create some sort of a shield around the Earth, a, a net, maybe something similar to a Dyson sphere? Have you ever heard of a Dyson sphere? A Dyson sphere is a hypothetical megastructure that encompasses a star and captures a large percentage of the solar power output. And that would mean infinite power for your planet. So if you look at all of the satellite trains here collectively, yes, they do resemble a hypothetical Dyson sphere. And I suppose they could all interconnect maybe at one time, forming some sort of a sphere around the Earth for another purpose. I think there's something else at play going on here. I really do. Elon Musk has done a lot of things in a short period of time. The man is an extreme overachiever. I mean, there's an article over here wanting to know if he's an alien because he's accomplished so much. But look at all the things this man's done in a very short period of time. You know, you've got all these rocket launches, the, the SpaceX company that involves these satellites that are orbiting the Earth. You've got the, the tunnel boring company. He just bought one of the most popular apps in the world. He owns Tesla. I mean, the list just goes on and on and on. But, you know, it comes down to this. You've got to have a pretty big clout card in order to be able to get away with putting this type of stuff in Earth's orbit that affects every nation on Earth. This stuff can be seen everywhere around the world, not just in America. Every country in the world can see this. In fact, this photo here you see of these blue lines comes out of Croatia. So these things can be seen all over the world. And again, the man has to have a huge clout card in order to be able to get away with that because observatories around the world aren't necessarily thrilled about the interference from the, the Starlink satellite train. So there must be something bigger going on that we're not aware of. Maybe some sort of a sphere is being built around the Earth that can interconnect at a moment's notice. Maybe it's going to be used as a, as a shield to deflect a potential solar flare. Maybe it's up there to collect energy. I don't know, but I do kind of feel that it involves a little more than, than cellular service around the world. I mean, again, I come from a world where there were no cell phones and people got along just fine. So is there something else going on here? There very well could be. Who knows? I mean, there's all kinds of stuff going around out there. There's supposedly a, a whistleblower saying that there's some sort of a, a program going on to trap UFOs.
news. This is an article dated August 22nd, not that old. A former president says he has access to UFO files, article dated June of, of 2024. And, of course, you've got Elon, and, and he's the one that's behind all of these satellites and rocket launches and just a wide variety of things. And on top of everything else, he's trying to, to get humans to Mars. But back to the blue lines. The next time you're outside at night and there's no clouds, look around in the nighttime sky. You might see one of these many blue lines that are currently orbiting the Earth right now as I do this video. And there's not just a few. There's a few thousand of these satellites currently orbiting the Earth. And from what I understand, China also just started a program called Mega Constellation, where they too are launching satellite trains to orbit planet Earth. We'll have to wait and see if those turn blue as well. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.